Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Ivy. So, um, here I'm showing you guys how I did those, you know, holographic purple nails that the client requested. Um, for these nails, she did one of XX nail, XXL nails. Um, these nails, these nails are expensive because these are the the ones that we have to use these um xl tips these are like take longer to do but they do look way better so what i did i did put her tips on um good thing these tips come with the numbers um i know i've been lagging it to put like links of where to buy stuff but if you guys bear with me i will soon start putting links under the thing you know because um i need to start waking up earlier girl shoo things take time but anyways so if you guys seen earlier i used that one file um no i used that one um nail clipper the nail clipper is is a straight nail clipper you're gonna need this nail clipper to clip these nails because these nails are really 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 hard to clip um so what i did it i just you know clipped them though to the length that she wanted them and now you're seeing me just file her nails you see like that's that that's the um the the nail clipper that i'm talking about um i think in or in the video i show how straight it is because you know how some nail clippers they have that curve that have that curve in it you will need to get a nail clipper that has just it's just straight where the cutting point is to be able to cut these nails maybe if you guys do know any other ways to cut these nails let me know in the comments because you know um sharing is caring you know sharing the tips girl don't be stingy um but anyways right here you're just gonna see me filing um to her the shape of her nails okay so go ahead and watch me Okay, you see we're almost done filing. As you can see, it takes really long to shape these nails. You know, and this video is fast forwarded. So, I think it took me an hour and a half or two hours to do this set. So, right here, um, you know, after I shape them and everything, there is a line. I know that you guys that do nails know there's a little line. I like to buff that out, you know, so the, the fake plastic nail could blend into her real nail all right now i'm gonna go in and you know uh put on down the acrylic so this brush very important guys very very important the numbers of the brushes it matters the sizes it took me a long time to figure that out because the person that taught me how to do nails is my sister and I think my sister, throughout her career, stuck to size 14 brushes. So, you know, that's all I knew. And, again, in school, they, when you get your license, all they care about is disinfection and, you know, the fundamentals of, you know, how to put on a nail and basically more science, you know, disinfection, diseases, the, the, like, you know, the... The autonomy of the hand, the autonomy of the of the body, the muscles, all that, girl. It's really, I know it's, it sounds like it's not important, but it those little, those things that we learn are very important. Um, because, um, you know, like, there's some creepy-ass bacteria when you, you know what? I can't be cussing. I need to go bit, bleep that out. But anyways, there is some very horrible things inside, um under a microscope guys and um you know we don't want to be transferring no diseases and nasty stuff you know what i mean and uh please refuse people that have a uh, fungus on their nails i don't care how much you disinfect refuse them i don't care if you're down to your last cup of noodles girl refuse it because that'll be the end of your career but anyways um 
well not the end of the career you know you got to speak things into existence you know you could say whatever you want you could recover from anything don't worry girl but just don't do it but anyway um Okay, this is a size 14. The only reason I use this size 14 um, is because her nails are the XL nails. The size of the brush, it grabs more acrylic. And you need to be grabbing more acrylic when you're doing XL nails. Because, or else you'll just be going back and forth to your little pot. Back and forth, you know, put it lay, laying down acrylic, laying down acrylic, laying down acrylic. You know what I mean? It saves you time when you use the big ones and the big number brushes when you're doing XL nails. Um, but I think that's all I gotta say. And this brush is by Mia Secret. I love Mia Secret brushes. They're very good. The 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 you guys always have to get make sure your brushes Kloinsky hair uh, brushes too. Okay, go ahead and watch me lay down this acrylic. hey guys it's me again uh just butting in but another thing i want to tell you guys make sure you guys put enough acrylic where the breaking point is the breaking point is right after her nail her natural nail that's the breaking point you gotta make sure there's a thickness in there all right guys the filing part for stilettos there's not really no secret to stilettos um you know just make sure the it's straight i still stilettos i still do face the hand towards me um, I hope I show you guys in this video, but, you know, just to see if my stilettos are nice and straight. I, If you guys watch my previous videos, you guys know what I mean by facing the hand towards you. Because when you face the hand towards you, that's the angle that your client sees her nails. You know, when you have her nail like this, um, and you only file like this, and you don't... Okay, let me just calm down. If When you're filing like this you have there's the way you're looking at the nails and the and there's a difference when she's looking at the nails the only way you're gonna see how she's looking at the nails if you face the hand towards you like i said in my previous videos i, I show you what i mean when you're facing the videos towards you you know what i mean um 
because you know i don't know like it's just weird how you could see one thing and the, the client could see another yeah you could see one thing and the client could see another um another thing is um okay here i am i'm filing and i'm just gonna buff her nails make sure they're smooth i always make sure my acrylic is smooth before i start filing because that saves me time when i'm filing um but anyways i have to tell you guys a story okay you guys know when you guys get a pedicure this has to do with the with like the way you're looking at the nails versus how the customer's looking at the nails okay so have you got a pedicure and you know you could see the toenails crooked and you're trying to tell the person like that's doing your pedicure like hey my toenails crooked and then they're like no 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 it's not crooked because they can't see that it's crooked to them it looks straight but on my angle the customer's angle it looks crooked so to avoid that to see what they're seeing you gotta face the hand towards you i know feet and hand are two different things but that's a good story to sh demonstrate to you guys nail tech you know what i mean sometimes you're gonna think like they're tripping but they're not tripping there is really crooked you just you just can't see it so by flipping the hand towards you you could see what they're seeing here's another thing i don't know if you guys buff the nails but this is very important after you you file her, her nails make sure you use a buffer because this really does make a difference you know what i mean all right here i am going in using some regular polish um i could you i like to use regular polish instead of colored gel Oh yeah, I just like to use regular polish instead of colored gel because I just like how regular polish looks. I have not yet found a gel that is that goes on smooth and not bulky like regular polish. But what I do is um, after I put on two coats of regular polish, I top it off with a gel non-wipe top coat. But that is kind of tricky guys because some top gel top coat does not go well with regular polish like at all like it'll just like you know like it won't get dry and it'll like you know crackle it'll crackle after so you you'll have to find like a gel top coat that goes well with them um, goes well with regular regular polish so go ahead and watch me and i'll start telling you guys what i did to get that little holographic shine to it right here i use the born pretty um holographic shine powder so i already they already have gel on her nails already have gel and everything i cured it first i made i i you have to make sure the regular polish is super dry before you put on gel polish on top of her nail or else it won't work girl but anyways these nails already have gel top coat dried of course so i use the born pretty um trans like you know the holographic powders and that's what make, makes her hands extra shiny um and then i'm gonna go i'm right here i'm going in and curing the the holographic nail the holographic powder and her nail
okay so i did something else um i put some more gel on her nails after i sealed the first holographic powder and i only cured her nails party like for 15 seconds i got another holographic powder which is the rainbow one and I, as you see i'm only dabbing in the corners and the, and then like the other inner corners this holographic powder is like rainbowy she that's why she got that little rainbowy she uh shine to her nails and now i'm gonna go ahead and seal it with gel oh yeah guys excuse that super old school gel like um nail dryer my mom gave that to me um but i love it because it like dries the regular polish really fast all right guys well i am done this is the final result you see those little uh rainbowish colors that's because of the powder and there there's another powder there too you know what i mean thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that like button girl don't play thank you